spindle replacement on a I believe 2019 John Deere Z335E okay we're underneath the mower right now and I'm gonna I have an 18 millimeter socket I'm gonna remove these two bolts one from each blade Turn my impact up. All right, now for the other one. My next move, I'm going to go ahead and remove the bolt off the top of this pulley, and that is a 22 millimeter, excuse me, 22 millimeter. And I'm going to do the same for the other side. This one's a 22 millimeter as well. Now this pulley come off pretty easy. It wasn't froze up at all. Okay, this pulley seems to be growed on a little bit. I already put a little WD on it and it's still, still on there pretty good. So I'm going to try giving it a tap with a mallet. See if we can get it out. I don't have a puller here. There we go. Yep. We got it. Okay, my next step is I'm going to remove these four nuts right here. And those are 13 millimeter. Break them all loose first. Now we're going to do the same for the other side. Okay, here we are on the other side, same thing. I'm going to break them loose. I sprayed these down with WD-40 beforehand. I don't know if that was even necessary, but I don't think it's going to hurt anything. Maybe even help, I don't know. This one wants to fall on down. I'm going to hold on to it. And this should just drop right down. 
just like so. And the other one's already, um, already did the other one, so it drops right down as well. Okay, I just got done scraping off the underneath. It wasn't bad, but just to be safe, I used a scraper here, got rid of anything that was left on the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the top and the bottom, and then we'll go ahead and put the new spindles on. Okay, I'm ready to put the spindle on. I want it facing this, in this orientation because the grease starts on this side. So I'm gonna go underneath and raise it into place. Grab a nut, and this is a 13 millimeter socket for this. Put a couple nuts on there. Okay, we're gonna put this down in this orientation. These two are gonna be facing the discharge. So I'll lower that down onto those. And there we go. Now you can see. Well, if I get my hand out of the way. So we're gonna, same thing, the two nuts on there and tighten those down. Okay, we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. I'm gonna grab our new spindle. And again, make sure your uh, greaser is facing outward. That way you're able to access it later on. Uh, slide it up in. We're gonna take nut and we're gonna put it on the outside ones. on there. Sorry about that. Okay. Okay, now we're going to put our cover on in this orientation. These two are going to go over the farthest facing out. Nuts ready. And tighten them down. I don't have the torque specs on these, so I'm just going to put a little ratchet on there and see if they're good and snug. Okay, now we're going to put our pulleys on. Is that up? Sit on there. If you could tell, uh, I probably should replace these two. These look a little chewed up. I'm not sure if you can see that. But... I didn't get any, so we're gonna go for it. Anyway, these are shaped like this. So you get it on there. Yeah, there's a little play in there. I definitely should have replaced those. I'll have to order some. So put the nut on there. Get it centered. Give it a little ooga dooga. <laughs>
Go ahead and I'll put this pulley on now. You can probably see this one a little better. It's not as rusty. Over it down to where it fits on there. And up back down. Give it a little ooga dooga. And if I didn't if it didn't break off, that's a good sign, so. Okay, ready to put on our new blades. And then bought brand new blades, because like I said, they were starting to bump the very end just a tiny bit. So to get through the day, we end up taking a grinder to it and just barely shaving and it got us through so I'm at like a bad angle here but it is it is on their center Go ahead and put the other one in. Probably be right in the way of the camera, but I apologize. And that one is centered as well. I'm gonna hold on to the blade, and this is 18 millimeter socket. Hold on the blade and give her a nuga duga. Same with the other side. Okay, now we're ready to put our belt back on. We'll route it through here. Same with the other side. There we go. It's ready to be put back on. Again, the sockets that I use for this job, an 18 millimeter was for the blades. The 22 millimeter was for these poles on the spindle. And a 13 millimeter was for the nuts holding the spindle on. So, hope, hope that was helpful, and thanks for watching. Here's the part numbers for the spindles. I ordered these directly from John Deere. And again, this is for a Z335E. These are the same part numbers, those are the spindles, and then here's the set of blades.